Hi, Gemini. Welcome into your reading. Okay. Let's see what's going on here with you guys for your situation. The last two weeks of February, maybe the last week of February. Let's see the situation for Gemini. It's like you're resisting moving on, but you at that point. You have the two of wands and the strength card in the cross. So you could that there's a Leo there, but there's also a fire sign at the bottom of the deck, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They don't have to be. There's just somebody you're attracted to. Someone with a lot of chemistry. I don't know what that means to you yet because you're at that crossroads right now of moving into your future, uh, going through a portal. Nine times out of ten, when you're at the two of wands, you're not looking back. You're looking forward, but you're hesitating. For sure you're hesitating. Let's see what's coming in. Tell which Gemini, please. Well, there's cheating here. There's ghosting. There's lying or cheating. Or we're strategizing something with the Seven of Swords. With the Nine of Cups, though, in reverse, there's something that lacks there of any kind of desire. So you're like, mm, I'm not happy here. I don't know what this is, but I ain't happy. I'm out. And this is kind of what you're doing. And it could be because maybe for you, whatever that situation is, lack of stability, or it's just like not giving you anything in return. I don't know yet. I'll know when I clarify. But right now, you are leaving, you're ghosting something or cheating on it because there's no desire there in that department of your life. What is it that Gemini doesn't see coming their way? You're going to be torn between a choice. Asking someone out, not asking them out, going to talk to them on an emotional level, you're torn. Two paths, two choices, two people, Do I, one person, do I stay, do I go? But here you are, either it's you're receiving it or you're giving it this invitation to talk on an emotional level and it's not it's significant it's not like it's a text message it's not like oh hey oh my god this person that i'm like dying over just texted me no they're calling you and they're like what's up lou let's go we we need to meet for coffee and chat all right so advice for for gemini please why is that so many cards here Do you have an eight of, of pentacles? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, the star card. Aquarius. The hangman. Pisces. The world card. Sagittarius. And then the two of cups. Okay, that's a lot of major arcana. So the universe is trying to step in right now to help you out on your behalf. First of all, it's saying you, re you really need to remain positive and optimistic and hopeful. You're about to start a new path, a new journey. These two cards, this is a minor arcana, this is a major arcana, but sometimes these two cards go hand in hand, all right? Because once you go through this, that's it. You completed a cycle, and now you start a whole new path and a whole new journey. Oh, my God, really? Okay. Two of Cups talks about you getting into a partnership, whether it's business or love. You really need to hang in there and see something from a different perspective, remaining positive and hopeful and start this new path, start this new journey in your life. Something needs to be cut out, something that no longer works for you. It's a sacrifice. It's bittersweet. See, in this card, this person has these friends. He has an argument with his buddies over here. He wins the argument because, sure, maybe he's correct, whatever. So the friends are like, okay, you win the argument, you win the fight, but it cost him something. It cost him the friendship. Was it worth it? And so he takes the swords and he realizes he can't carry five heavy ass swords, can only carry three. So he's leaving with something, definitely a parting gift, not completely alone, bittersweet like I said, but also 
needing to sacrifice something, leaving someone or something else behind. Interesting. And But this is when you wrap it up. Then you can say, the end, it's a wrap, moving on, next path, next journey. Let's see what the outcome for the week is. God, I was like stuck in my sleep. And so here is that King of Wands we were seeing at the bottom of the deck from the beginning. That fire sign, that Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and there's you in love. Or your heart chakra is quite open. One person here is not available. Or has been rejected or there's been a breakup. You are into this. I don't know what the hell's going on with this fool over here. And now you're sitting here thinking like what you should do. So we're going to see if this guy is just like someone you're breaking up with or if it's just like this person's not available to you. It doesn't have to be a fire sign. It's just somebody that's there's a lot of chemistry and passion with this individual. Maybe they're just not available. Quite literally, maybe they're married. Um, or you just don't want them. Let's see. But it doesn't look like that to me over here. Looks like, you know, there's attraction there. What is two of cups, please, and strength card? See, you might have left something or someone behind, or you you haven't quite yet, and you're resisting that action with the eight of cups, right? It looks like that's kind of what the situation is. Um, you need to be careful a little bit because the situation could turn into something quite toxic for you. What is the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Cups in reverse, please? Okay, so you're trying to manifest something. You're trying to manifest a happy couplehood here with somebody. A happy situation, a happy environment. So you're leaving something else behind because it does, you, there's no desire in it for you. There could be some ending, betrayal. Either you're betraying someone else or they're betraying you. Or this whole thing goes shit sideways. But you are leaving or something behind so you can manifest happiness somewhere in your life. What is this Knight of Cups and the Two of Swords? The Moon. And the Ace of Swords. So when this person comes forward to talk to you, whoever they are, they're going to put their cards on the table. But still, you're not going to know what to do with it, that information, because you still feel like you need to A, be cautious, or B, you don't know where the, what the future holds. Sure, it relieves you when they tell you certain things and you've put your cards on the table, or they have. Or maybe you do. Maybe it's you that puts your cards on the table and then you're just waiting for a response to see what happens and what they say. Either way, it leaves you in this place where you're torn as to what to do. Stay, go, move forward. Let's see. Your advice is to sit, close a chapter and start a new one and get into a partnership with somebody here, someone else. There's a potential there for sure. Yeah, like I said, you want to be careful because you don't want this to turn obsessive. You don't want it to be something codependent. You don't want it to be something toxic. See, something hasn't upgraded for you. Something hasn't gone on that did not move in, did not get engaged, did not become boyfriend, girlfriend. It just didn't go anywhere. And this might have been somebody you had an affair with that came back to you, or this was somebody who ghosted and came back. They rushed in and communicated. But this could be a fucking merry-go-round, Gemini, and round and round and round you go. And Spirit's like, you gotta close this down and be positive, optimistic, and hopeful because it's just gonna bring you right back to this and ending in a betrayal. I, I need to know why this King of Wands is in reverse over here, please. Just the King of Wands spirit. Thank you. Maybe you did end things. Maybe they ended it with you, but they're stalking you now. Full shower. Clarify the whole thing. Queen of Cups and King of Wands in reverse. 
There was a breakup in wh whoever this is they're trying to heal or you're trying to heal. They are communicating with you or you are guys taking some kind of actions back and forth with one another. Could be discussing the ending or the betrayal, but it has you really considering your options. But I see you being happy when you stop dealing with some individual. There's somebody here you really do desire and prefer to be with. Uh-huh. Romance Angels, what say you here for Gemini, please? Flirt. And true love is at the bottom of the deck. Let me see what fell on the floor. Free yourself. You have been put in a jail cell. Go out there and flirt and change your energy. Um, do not be laying low. Do not put yourself in time out. Do not keep being your mind stuck on something or someone from the past. It does not serve you at all. If it's talking about this particular person that you're trying to create a situation where you can be in a happy couplehood, go ahead and flirt. All right. It's time to take back your control. Go out there with your light and fluffy energy and have fun, Gemini. I love Geminis. You guys are so much fun. All right. Relationship and solitude. Did I just say no timeouts for you? Relationships and solitude. Let me see what this is saying to you. Relationships and solitude work in symbiosis. Strive to keep a healthy balance at a level that works for you. It might not be the same for everyone. Some people require more alone time and some don't need as much. Have a think. Which time do, what type do you think you are? Are you currently achieving your ideal balance? Dissatisfaction and either solitude or partnership might be caused by the lack of the other. Unhappiness in a relationship may result from not enough solitude we're not feeling good in the solitude. Feeling lonely, on the other hand, can be caused by an unsatisfactory relationship. I'm going to repeat that because I think that's very important because it goes right back to your reading. Feeling lonely, on the other hand, can be caused by an unsatisfactory relationship. Free yourself. In romantic relationship, it can be hard to create a balance between these two. There can easily be too much of one of them and not enough of the other. Even if you might have balance in terms of the amount between the two of you, the quality also counts. Maybe you are getting a lot of alone time, but you don't value it as much because you find it hard to enjoy. If this is the case. Take a moment to think about how you can embrace your alone time more. Can you do something that will fill up your heart as much as being together with someone does? This card encourages you to take a closer look at both your relationships and your solitude. Are you living in a bubble with your significant other or are you starting to become a unit with no separate lives? Do you ever feel like your partner is always too far away, never spending enough time with you, going on their own adventures? Or it might be you that is always looking outside the relationship and finding your own happiness without including including them. Think about if there is something you can do to make your relationship more meaningful together, if that's what you need right now, or if there's something you can do that makes your solitude more rewarding. So you have more to give into your relationships. All right, guys, this is what I have for you. I really hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you on the next one.